Have you noticed how electric vehicles have become more popular lately? They're quieter, more efficient, and better for the environment than traditional gas-powered cars. But did you know that China is quickly taking over the global EV market, leaving the U.S. in the dust? China's rapid rise in the electric vehicle market has significantly impacted the U.S. EV industry. Over the past few years, China has made strategic moves to position itself as a global leader in EV production and adoption, outpacing the U.S. in both manufacturing and sales. This shift in the global EV landscape has forced U.S. automakers and policymakers to reevaluate their approach to this rapidly growing sector. As China continues to expand its EV market share, the U.S. must adapt and innovate to maintain its competitiveness and secure a foothold in the future of transportation. The evolving dynamics between China and the U.S. in the EV industry will undoubtedly shape the future of electric mobility worldwide. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind China's EV domination and how it's affecting the U.S. market. Let's jump right into it. The global electric vehicle market has experienced significant growth over the past few years. Driven by technological advancements, increasing environmental awareness, and supportive government policies, China and the U.S. have played pivotal roles in this market, each showcasing distinctive growth trends. The EV market has witnessed exponential growth in China, becoming the world's largest EV producer and consumer. This rapid expansion can be attributed to substantial government support, aggressive investments in charging infrastructure, and a robust domestic manufacturing ecosystem. As a result, Chinese EV manufacturers have gained a competitive edge, allowing them to capture a substantial share of the global EV market. The U.S. EV market, while not growing at the same pace as China, has also shown promising trends. A growing emphasis on clean energy, improvements in battery technology, and increased consumer interest have all contributed to a steady rise in EV adoption across the country. Major U.S. automakers have started to invest heavily in electric vehicle production, ensuring that the U.S. remains a key player in the global EV landscape. As both China and the U.S. continue to make strides in the EV market, their respective growth trends are crucial indicators of the future direction of the industry. The ongoing developments in these two influential markets will undoubtedly shake the global transition toward electric mobility in the coming years. The Chinese government has been a driving force in the country's EV industry. It has implemented a range of policies to encourage EV production and adoption, including subsidies, tax exemptions, and investments in charging infrastructure. Also, Chinese EV manufacturers have received substantial investment from both government and private sectors, allowing them to scale up production rapidly. Companies such as BYD, SAIC, and Geely have emerged as global leaders in EV production. China has prioritized electric mobility in its overall plan for industrial modernization. This long-term planning has allowed the country to systematically develop its EV industry and related supply chains. Chinese EV manufacturers have made significant strides in developing advanced EV technology such as battery systems and electric motors. These innovations have helped improve the performance and reduce the costs of Chinese-made EVs, making them more competitive in the global market. A major factor that makes China dominate the electric vehicle market is the fact that Chinese manufacturers can produce electric vehicles at a lower cost. Chinese EV manufacturers benefit from several factors enabling them to produce EVs at lower cost than their counterparts in the other countries. The sheer size of China's automotive market and the government's focus on EV production have allowed Chinese manufacturers to achieve significant economies of scale. High production volumes enable companies to spread their fixed costs over more units, reducing the cost per vehicle. Also, labor costs in China are generally lower than in developed countries, which help reduce production costs. However, as China's economy continues to expand, labor costs have been rising in recent years. China also has a significant advantage in securing essential raw materials for EV production, such as lithium and rare earth metals. This access helps Chinese manufacturers maintain stable supply chains and control costs. Chinese EV manufacturers often have vertically integrated supply chains, which allows them to control various aspects of production, from battery manufacturing to final assembly. 
This integration helps reduce costs and improve production efficiency. By leveraging these factors, Chinese EV manufacturers can produce high-quality EVs at more competitive prices, making them a formidable force in the global EV market. When one Chinese company significantly lowers its prices, other EV manufacturers are pressured to follow suit to remain competitive. This race to the bottom leads to reduced profit margins for all companies involved as they sacrifice profitability to maintain or gain market share. U.S. EV manufacturers may need to reevaluate their strategies in response to price cuts. They might differentiate their products through features, quality, or brand reputation rather than competing solely on price. Some companies may also invest more in research and development to create innovative technologies and reduce production costs. While price wars can negatively affect profit margins in the short term, they can also benefit consumers by making EVs more affordable. Additionally, these competitive dynamics drive innovation and cost reduction efforts in the long run, helping to accelerate EV adoption and contribute to a cleaner, more sustainable transportation future. Another major edge the Chinese EV market has over the U.S. is its technological advancements. China has been at the forefront of battery technology development, particularly in lithium-ion and solid-state batteries. Chinese scientists have developed a low-cost solid-state lithium battery that can match the performance of other next-generation battery candidates, potentially revolutionizing the EV market. With several Chinese firms unveiling new lithium-ion cells with longer ranges, shorter charging times, and increased charging cycles, China's EV battery innovation is cementing its position as a dominant force in the auto industry. China's government plans to invest over 6 billion yen or approximately $830 million into the research and development of solid-state batteries, further solidifying its commitment to technological advancement. China's battery dominance can be attributed to its vertical integration across the entire EV supply chain, from mining metals to producing EVs. This integration enables China to control costs and maintain a competitive edge in battery production. The U.S. regulatory and policy environment has presented several challenges to domestic EV manufacturers when compared to the supportive policies in China. The U.S. has historically offered fewer and less generous subsidies and incentives for EV purchases compared to China, making EVs less affordable for consumers and potentially discouraging adoption. In recent years, U.S. emissions regulations have been subject to change and uncertainty, while China has implemented more stringent and consistent rules to incentivize EV adoption. What then can be done? The U.S. needs to catch up to China in developing a comprehensive charging infrastructure, which would make EVs less convenient for drivers and potentially slow adoption rates. Also, tariffs and other trade policies implemented by the U.S. government have increased the cost of importing EV components from China, raising production costs for domestic manufacturers. In response to China's growing dominance in the EV market, the U.S. should increasingly view its relationship with China as one of strategic competition, prompting the U.S. government to adopt policies aimed at eroding China's competitiveness in international markets. American companies should seek to diversify their supply chains, sourcing products from third-party countries to avoid reliance on Chinese imports. To counter China's technological advancements, the U.S. should invest more in research and development, leveraging its unique strengths to outshine China in the global EV market. Chinese-owned companies should also face more intense scrutiny in the U.S. because American companies encounter similar challenges in China. The intensifying rivalry between the U.S. and China may lead to restructuring of the global economy, with companies adapting their strategies to maintain access to both markets. China's growing influence in the EV market presents both challenges and opportunities for the U.S. EV industry. By acknowledging these dynamics and adapting strategies accordingly, the U.S. can secure a competitive position in the ever-evolving EV landscape. This ongoing race for EV dominance will undoubtedly shape the future of transportation and play a pivotal role in creating a more sustainable, energy-efficient world. The question now remains, are we ready to witness potentially one of the greatest rivalries in the electric vehicle market? We would love to hear your thoughts on the future of the EV market and how you see the competition between the U.S. and China evolving. 
Do you believe that the U.S. can regain a competitive edge in the global EV landscape through increased investments in research and development, diversification of supply chains or other strategies? How do you envision the role of government policies and regulations in shaping the EV market's future? Keep the comments coming. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, and share it with your friends. Until our next mouthwatering video, thanks for watching.